Hey, everybody. Morning. Good morning. We are trying something new, hence the title, <laughs> Trying Something New. Oh, I, you are tagged in my video. Okay. Um, so we're going to keep this short and sweet, but this is kind of the illustration <clears throat> of when you have a thought or a dream in your heart, I would say heart, you would say mind, <laughs> um, you just got to sometimes do it and stop overthinking things and just try something new. So the impetus behind all of this is that this is, well, I'm Krista, this is Brian, my husband, and we talk business and life and um, personal development and professional development quite a bit. Um, give you a quick background on us in a minute. And we we love talking that way. And I think we share a lot of really great ideas with each other. Absolutely. Yeah. And when we've shared some of what we've learned with the team that I get to lead or when Brian brings it to the people he gets to, to work with, um, we've, everything is really well received. And so I keep thinking, like, what can we do that we can work together? Because we love... I mean, I love hanging out with you. I'm not going to speak for you. Uh, you can talk about percent. how great I am. Thousand. Now yeah, would be I'll tell a you good time. Okay. Yeah. Um, but we really, like, you know, obviously we've been married for um, almost 18 years. So we have a great dynamic. We are a great team. And we keep thinking about what can we do? How can we bring that out and, and share more of what <clears throat> we're passionate about? And we don't really know what that's going to look like. We're, we're still figuring it out and we're both very, very happy and excited about where we are professionally. Um, so this isn't like some big like left turn. It's not some big announcement. It's just kind of letting us explore and kind of figure things out. So really quickly, um, I'm going to introduce Brian and then Brian's going to tell everybody how great I am. If he knows what's good for him. Take a long time. So, um, so this is my husband, Brian Demsher, and he is old, um, older than <laughs> me by like 10 months. Um, but Brian has a really interesting skill set and background in that, you know, we both grew up in the same small town. We can always talk about that in the future, but we both grew up in this same small town and Brian um, left our small town and went to college at um, the United States Military Academy, West Point, which if you know anything about that, it, it's not for the weak of heart. Um, it's very rigorous academically, very rigorous uh, personally and, you know, mentally, emotionally. And Brian actually played football for Army. So he spent four years there, made amazing friends, learned a lot, grew a lot. Had he not gone there, we would never be married because he had to mature That's, and grow up. <clears throat> this that has not been proven. That's this, is, this is proven. Theory. That's true. Um, so then Brian and I um, started dating seriously, like pretty much right before his senior year and got out, spent five years as an army officer, um, second lieutenant, first lieutenant, captain, um, an awesome army officer, something that he won't, you know, toot his own horn on, but I will. Um, you know, always just incredibly well respected by not only his superiors, but also the men he got to lead, um, which I think is just says so much more about the kind of person you are. And um, Bronze Star, earned the bronze star. He does. Yeah, I know. That's why I said I wanted to introduce you. Um, and then we lived in Oklahoma during that time. He spent a year in Iraq and then got out and made, talk about a left turn, a major <laughs> left turn and took a career in medical sales. And he, you've been working in medical sales for what? Like four, 14, 14 years, years now, now. 14 <clears throat> years. Um, sales and training. Some device sales, some biotech sales, um, a little bit of everything, but just really awesome at what he does and outside of professionally he is a decent husband yeah like i see middle of the pack c <laughs> I, I mean solid c maybe c plus on the defense just kidding <laughs> a plus husband a plus father to our three kids um <clears throat> who are 12 9 and 4 and is very good at the dishes and the laundry and making the lunches he is like you know, the housewife of the house sometimes, <laughs> which is like very good fortune by me, so. Great, so uh, thanks. I, I don't know if I can live up to that, but um, this is uh, Krista. Most of you guys probably already know her. She's um, <clears throat> very uh, popular 
on <laughs> social media. And... <laughs> so um, again, like she said, like like uh, my wife said, we we did grow up together in the same small town, so we've known each other for um, a very very long time, and then uh, got married after college. She actually has a master's degree in counseling that she got while I was um, <clears throat> stationed in Oklahoma. She went to grad school at OU and got a master's degree in counseling. And I think that was sort of you know what you thought uh, mm -hmm. you wanted to do. And Absolutely. that was the initial thought that she wanted to get out and do that. And then when I left active duty and we moved across the country to New England, um, she did get a job as a school counselor. And in Oklahoma. And in Oklahoma, right, sorry. Yeah, I just was thinking different terms. Yeah, right, I'm sorry. <clears throat> and then uh, worked that for a while and uh, was, again, great at what she did and then maybe thought about doing something else as our family grew and we moved to Maryland and you know how change goes um, and just was looking for something that was going to allow her to kind of explore her entrepreneurial self that she maybe was not getting from, from her um, counseling uh, career. So anyhow, um, came down here, she ended up, uh, she runs her own business within Stella and Dot right now and is a leader trains a lot of women on um, setting goals and achieving those goals and coming up with a plan to get you from A to Z. And again, just has become like a, a total mentor, leader, friend, um, any sort of noun you want to put in there uh, to all the women that she gets to work with on a regular basis. And again, uh, like Krista said, this is something that we had talked about for some time <clears throat> and just wanted to uh, be able to explore what this could do and, and talk about a bunch of different things and really take some feedback as far as where we could take this. But um, I think you made a really good point when we, I was like, we sat down to do this. I'm like, well, I don't really know exactly what we're going to say because we still <laughs> haven't really like formulated our ideas. But um, Brian said, you know, but think about it. Like, you know, we are not experts by any stretch of the imagination. However, we've both had really awesome life and professional experiences that mm -hmm. have put us in the path of some amazing influential people and we've learned a lot from them and we just kind of want to share it, right? Yeah, absolutely. I uh, think, you know, I've had, I always say I've had the incredible fortune of working for some really great people and with some really great people, both uh, in the military and then outside of the military in the business world and I, a lot that I've been able to take from them and hopefully be able to share with some others and I've done that in the past with some mentorship roles type of type of roles that I've had and um, yeah, I'm just excited to do that because like I said I think they're um, you know they're great lessons that I've learned and, and I would like to share with my kids yeah and friends and colleagues as well so yeah hey uh, Victoria you're sweet and if you're here say hey it's always fun to know we're talking to people and not to like <laughs> <laughs> Facebook land, the abyss. Um, so what I think summarizes the two of us, because we're very similar in a lot of ways, but we're very different in a lot of ways. And clearly, um, I'm a woman and he's a man. And I think, you know, we're hardwired a little bit differently. And we also just have different opinions and thoughts that mm -hmm. get debated quite a bit. And that's what makes us special. Um, but I, I would crack me up is, you know, we're like trying to think of like, what's a good quote to summarize why we're deciding to like go Facebook live and just kind of share that we want to uh, share more of what's on our hearts and our minds. And I was like, well, to me, it's like the, the quote, which is thinking about <clears throat> something is exhausting. Doing it is freeing, which is what, what for the past year I, I've been thinking like, how can we work together? What can we do? How can we do more training and coaching and mentoring? And what can we make this look like? And so that's what I settled on and what you settled on. Yeah, it's similar but different. <laughs> um, so when I was in college, I had the opportunity to take a boxing class. Um, I, I can't say that I was very good at it or <laughs> that I really loved the class, but you learn pretty quickly sort of what it's about. And one of the first lessons that we had learned in class that it <laughs> was the... Uh, the worst thing about getting punched in the face is thinking about getting punched in the face. <laughs> so the actual doing is a little bit less uh, painful and anxiety riddled than the actual thinking about it. And it's something that, you know, we, we teach our kids as well that, you know, I always say to my kids, <laughs> the worst thing about getting punched yeah, in the face they, is they know. If you, if you say to them, what's the, the worst thing about getting punched in the face? They constantly will say. <laughs> Yeah. Thinking about getting so it's not like that, but you know, it's a similar idea to, to, to what Chris had mentioned. It's just a little bit different way of getting to the end point there. So yeah. So if anything, maybe this will encourage you. If there's something you've been thinking about or dreaming about, um, gosh, I should do that. I should give that a try. Just take the first step. This is our first step. It's it's not finessed. It's not suave. It's a little messy, but we're just taking the first step, and we're we're holding ourselves accountable and trying something new and. 
you know, the goal is that Brian does have a job, as do I, but we are fortunate <laughs> enough to be able to both have usually Monday as an office day where our older kids are in school, our um, younger kiddo who is not yet in school goes with his babysitter, and typically you're not traveling on a Monday. Brian travels a lot for work. So typically this is our day that we are both home working and planning for the week ahead. So our goal is to come live every Monday, and really what we want to ask is for um, ideas of what might be interesting to hear about or, or you know, we, we're happy to do a little research and kind of share what we found. Sure. Um, I was like, we talk about like family and marriage. Yeah. <laughs> and I Brian's was, like, what? Yeah. Business and training yeah, he's and like, personal let's, development. <laughs> let's talk about business. So maybe we'll hit a little maybe bit on both. both. Yeah, we'll yeah. mix them together. We'll stir them up a little bit yeah and and like I said we are not experts and and we're not trying to sit here and pretend that we are we just we just mm -hmm. like talking about this kind of stuff and, and working together so if there's something that you're like oh I'd like to, to hear more about um, how to set goals or you know like how to I don't know parent mm -hmm. your kid in the age of technology which we are still learning but I've been doing yeah. a lot of reading Maybe you on can teach us about that right right bit. but <laughs> just kind of an open yeah. dialogue and open conversation it's always great to get a little bit of feedback from someone else as well just to kind of get the idea to you know maybe you have one way of doing it we've got another way of doing it and it's a great way to sort of improve um, on both of our halves to, to, to kind of get to the right place that we want to go you know absolutely yeah. so that's it we'd love to hear from you um, you can comment below or shoot me a message and hopefully um, well, who knows if Brian will be here next Monday or not. It's always, it's always that, that is one thing we need to improve upon. It's pretty much like Sunday and I'm like, so where are you traveling this week? And he's like, oh, I'm leaving tomorrow for three days. I'm like, okay, cool. That's not, that's not, that is usually how we operate. We, we could use a little help with our family calendar. So we, but, but yeah. knowing is half the battle. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that's it. Hope everybody's having a great Monday and um, we'd love to hear from you. And thanks for listening. Thanks, Gaston. Bye.